Sometimes with these electric torque wrenches, it'll bind and whenever you click the trigger, it kind of buzzes. You don't want to buzz it much like that for too long because it'll bind out the motor, but it's kind of annoying and we're going to show you how to fix it. With a four millimeter hex key, we're going to take this off so we can get access to the inside. Pull off the front of it now. With a Phillips screwdriver, unscrew the four screws on the back and then this plate comes off. We'll pull the anvil off. Remove the three screws in the front handle. When we pull out this front part, the brushes are gonna fall in. That's why we needed to take out this back panel so we have access to the brushes so we can pull them back whenever we need to slide everything back together. This black plastic piece is seized to this fan. We're gonna take a screwdriver and gently pry off this plastic piece, breaking off those plastic welds that seized it on. You can see how it melted right around here and all the way around the ring. Same thing on the fan piece. So what happened was there's no lubrication on this plastic. So as it's spinning really fast, there's a lot of friction between these two pieces of plastic and they welded together. So whenever we reassemble this, we need to make sure there's plenty of lubricant. And we're gonna use silicone grease, which is a plastic safe lubricant. With the knife, we'll start to clean this up. With both surfaces cleaned up and made flat, we're gonna put our silicone grease on here to make sure everything runs smooth and this won't happen again. Make sure you get plenty of lube in here. We don't want this happening again. And on the other side as well. We're now ready for reassembly. First, this plastic piece slides in. Probably the hardest part of the reassembly is going to be these brushes here because they have to slide over this uh, copper part on the end of the motor because we're going to have to lift them up and then slide this in, which is going to be tricky. With a screwdriver, we're going to lift up from the bottom and then we're going to prop it in place with a nail, like a finishing nail, right on the spring. And now that holds it in place and we can do the same thing to the See other side. See how the brush on this side has already been retracted and this side hasn't. And now see how they're both retracted. Now we'll be able to take the rest of our motor and put this in. Easy. And it spins again. Front piece. Now for the anvil and the planetary gear assembly, it slides in place and I would recommend doing it sideways because these pins in the washer can fall out pretty easy. This is what it's supposed to do. It was completely seized before. And now for the headpiece right here. Once you've got everything together and everything still moves smoothly, let's pull out the pins, set the brushes in place, and put on the back plate. Now this works really well. And we can get back to the other job that we were doing before this broke.